Well, hello everybody. It's a beautiful Sunday. Uh, bright, sunny, blue sky day. The temperature's on the, on the cooler side. It's only in the upper 60s, but that's okay. So got short sleeve shirt on, and trust me, I have shorts on. But it's been a wonderful day. I went to Mass earlier this morning, 8 o'clock, St. Gregory the Great in Williamsville. It wasn't just a drive-in Mass and listen to it on your phone. They gave out communion again, finally. What a... What an amazing moment this was. So watch us all lined up, six feet apart, reverently approach, receive Jesus. Awesome. Now, on my way home from Mass, I saw a sign advertising for a chicken barbecue, drive through chicken barbecue for a place I'd never heard of before. So join me today and as we look at this new chicken barbecue. All right, so here's what we're dealing with. We've got our chicken, we'll get the roll out of the way. We've got our chicken, nice piece of chicken. Looks like some sort of mustard or dressing, maybe a mustard barbecue sauce, coleslaw, some salt potatoes, and of course, a roll. So that's what we're going to be having. This was $12. Now a pretty big Chevette's chicken guy. So this place, Karuba's, no, not the body shop, the chicken pit, Karuba's is going to have a tough sell here with me. How are they going to convince me that their food is better or at least equal to Chevetta's. Now again, I've never had them before, so I don't know if it is or it isn't. We're gonna try it out today. All right, so we got our dinner again. I know I'm not completely in uh, frame here, but that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and uh, try it. We're gonna start with the coleslaw. The coleslaw is really good. It's the, uh, the fine cut cabbage, so it's tart, it's got a nice kick to it, it's creamy, it's still cool. Even on a day like today, it's still nice and cool. Uh, cut your cabbage, your carrots, you know, it, it's uh, crunchy, and uh, it's got a nice bite to it. So it's got the mayo, it's got the vinegar, everything you want. So, so far so good on the coleslaw. Try one of these potatoes. There's the potato. It's a regular little salt potato. It smells like it might be a little seasoned, but that could just be from the uh, chicken. Let's give it a shot. Typical potato, salt potato type, nice and seasoned. Uh, probably just with the salt from the water. Pick up some of the seasonings from the chicken. So it's good. It reminds me of the stuff you did maybe at the state fair. You get the potatoes. So pretty good. That gets us now to chicken and this mustard based, looks like mustard based barbecue sauce. off the bat, not nearly as vinegary as a Chevetta's chicken. Now I know for people who maybe don't like Chevetta's as much as I do, one of their complaints is it's too vinegary. This won't be a problem for them. Let's go ahead and uh, get some out and try what this, whatever this sauce was, as I showed you. I mean, it's, it's nice, it's juicy, it's not dry. And a good smoky flavor, and then whatever the sauce is, we're gonna put on there. Let's find out. The sauce is good. I'm guessing it's gonna be for the potatoes, but it's still really good. Chicken doesn't eat anything, though. So, let's just go ahead and uh, finish up this chicken. I'll let you know at the end what I thought of everything. Alright, so I finished the dinner. What did I think? I thought it was really good. The one thing I hadn't told you about yet was the bread, and the roll was very sweet. Uh, I didn't expect that, so it was a very tasty roll. I uh, didn't even need butter or anything like that. There was a little package of the butter there, of course, but it wasn't really needed. 
So I finished the whole meal, of course. Finished the chicken, finished the potatoes, finished the coleslaw, finished the roll. So the big question, is it better than Chevetta's? In my opinion, no. I just like the Chevetta sauce. I like the tanginess from the vinegar base. I like how it sort of, you know, has that bite to it. Is this a contender though? Yes. So I think you put these guys side by side and it's them down to personal preference. There was a great smoky flavor to the chicken. It was never dry throughout. You even had like the pink parts around the top where you tell it had really taken on the smoke from the grill. Uh, it was tender all the way through. The skin was crispy. On the outside, it wasn't, you know, sort of mealy or anything like that. It had a good flavor all the way through. But like I said, it's just missing that sort of the tang, if you know what I'm talking about, that comes with a Chevetta's dinner. But if I saw these guys out and around town doing a church barbecue or a fire hall barbecue or whatnot, and they were advertising for drive-in, pick up a barbecue, would I stop again? Absolutely. Absolutely. This is a, this is a really good meal. The potatoes were excellent. Uh, you know, the coleslaw had a nice, it was crispy and had a good bite. So you can't go wrong with Karubas, right? So make the right decision and, you know, get to Karubas. I think I can get away with that, right? That's not copyrighted. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and clean up because the one complaint I have is that the packet of silverware, which included a napkin, did not include a wet nap. So when you're eating through the chicken and you're trying to pick pieces apart and get bones out of there, you know, my hands are a little dirty now and I didn't have a wet nap like I got when I had barbecue other places. So include the wet nap next time, that would be great. So $12, I think that's about reasonable for the most part. Uh, it does not include a drink, that would have been nice too, but uh, for $12, really not that bad. You saw the chicken, a very good piece of chicken. Sides were, you know, three potatoes, a, a decent amount of coleslaw. I could always go for more, but overall I would say good. So, so there you have it. Karuba's chicken pit, barbecue chicken meal something to put on your radar if you're going to be around town this summer looking for a good meal. So with that, I'm off. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.